Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Where do drivers watch Dorito and the Lucha Cabra as they assemble the cow cow? You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only use the edge. What's going on, YouTube? Dorito here. And today we got a little assembly, and I do mean little. Oh, this no. is the Town Motor DB20 Kids Dirt Bike. This is a 107cc automatic electric start dirt bike. This thing has a lot of new features on it. I'll go ahead and tell you guys about the features while I'm putting it together. It really isn't much to putting this together. As you guys can see, you got to put on the handlebars because, you know, you can't ride your bike without any handlebars. No handlebars. No handlebars. You got to put on the fender, which is a piece of cake, a couple bolts. You put on the front wheel. You uh, mount the shock in the rear. You go ahead and loosen up the seat so you can connect the battery, pull it up, start it up, get ready to go. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the front axle loose so I can get it off this and get it on the lift, and then I'll get right back to you guys, and we'll talk about this bike as well as long as I'm putting it together. All right, let's get on with it. Looch? Looch? Hey, look, I got a question for you. Why is it called a hernia when it's on him, but a hysterectomy when it's on her? Can somebody explain that? All right, guys, we're back. So we got the rear shock that we got to mount on this, which you, you guys can see is, is real easy. You just got your shock here. You let When you lift it up, you let the swing arm drop. The shock will fall right into place. You go ahead and put that in. Now, I wanted to point out, I don't know if you guys can see this here or not, but the chain they updated. They upgraded the chain. It's one of these gold chains. This is a stronger chain. Even for a little bike like this, they put the gold chain on it. They really put a lot of bells and whistles. As we go forward on the bike, I'll go ahead and explain those. But let's get that done right now. So that is very easy. You just go ahead and pull your bolt out. Okay. Get your bolt. Come here. There we go. Get your bolt lined up. Lift up your swing arm with, from your wheel a little bit. Once you get it slid in, you take, put your nut on the other side. Now, you know, let's get a little Loctite. Okay, once you get your bolt through, you want to take a little bit of your Loctite and you want to put it on the thread of the bolt just to make sure it's nice and snug there for you. A little dabble, do you? Put that on. That's what we always say. Always with these bikes and anything else that's got moving bolts, you want to use some Loctite if it doesn't have a nylock lock nut. Okay, so you get that on there. You go ahead and tighten this up. Okay. Got that all snug up. Okay, so now that we got that done, since we're working our way to the front of the bike, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and pull the seat so we can put the battery, the uh, battery there, on. So what that's going to be, I believe, is a 12 millimeter. Yes, 12 millimeter. And there's a bolt in the very back here. You want to get that loose to get to the battery. It's got an upgraded sport exhaust on it too. Um, I'm sure this thing's gonna sound a little throaty. Then you go ahead and take your seat, pop your seat up, easy peasy, let it squeezy, get it on up there, get your battery connected. Okay? Battery, very easy to connect. You got your positive, you got your negative. Real easy to connect. So we're gonna get that connected as well. Drop it right in. Awesome. Shape or form, Jim Dorito, permission whatsoever to taste me on any part of my body whatsoever. All Thank right, you. Guys, once you got your battery dropped into the tight spot, which it is a little tight, but you can get it in there, you got to go ahead and get your screws set in there, get your terminals on, tighten it all down, cover up your terminals. It's the same battery, same procedure if you, as everybody's done a million times when you remove the seat and install your battery. So, you know, anyways. You go ahead and set your, after that, you're going to go ahead and drop your seat right into place. And then you're going to get your, your nut, and you're going to go ahead and tighten that on up. All right? So let's get that up there. Tighten that up real quick. Okay. Once you get that tightened up, it's on to the front wheel, the fender, and then the handlebars. So I'm going to go ahead and move on over there, and we'll get right back to you guys, all right? All right, we're back. So now on to the fender. Now, what you got is you got three 8-millimeter bolts, and I got my impact driver. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a little Loctite on each one of them because I'm going to snug them up by hand and then tighten them up. So let's go ahead and get those prepared. Okay, so you take the three eight millimeter bolts, real easy again. This is a very simple bike to put together. You put it through the little fender hole here and you just line everything up. Okay. Okay, so after you get that snugged in, now keep in mind there is a, another little insert that you're gonna end up putting up on top here when you go ahead and mount your handlebars and put your face plate on, okay? So we'll get to that in a minute. Now to your axle. What you wanna do is this is the one where you gotta slide the brake in. You gotta make sure you got everything even, okay? So there's a little plastic clevis in there. You pull that on out. And what you wanna do is you wanna get your inserts. It did come with two inserts when you pull the axle, okay? Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put an insert on each side, okay? So let's do this here. Get my axle and get it started on one side. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, axle started. This is the fun part here. You want to get your tire up, but you got to use your... It's kind of hard to do by yourself. 15 bucks, little man. Put that stuff in my hand. If that money do not show, you'll owe me, owe me, owe. My jungle love. Owe, owe, owe. What's wrong with you? Voila knock it on through now I this is a lock nut but I'm still going to take some Loctite and put it on there to make sure that it's going freely spin in here okay perfect a little bit of Loctite on the threads a lot of bit of Loctite sorry got some Loctite on there and we're going to get that snugged up and that is going to be a 9 16 and 11 16 are your metric you guys figure it out tighten that up Okay, really good. Okay, so we got the front rim on. Everything, now it's on to the handlebars. So we're going to go ahead and get the handlebars on. And we'll be almost ready to put some gas in this thing and fire it up. Okay? This portion of our program is brought to you by Blue Diamond Phillips Almonds. The best almonds that Blue Diamond Phillips ever made. All right, guys. We're back to the handle part, handlebar part now. So anyways, easy peasy. You're going to pull off your nameplate right here. With your head, get that out of the way. Fire up. Now what that's going to consist of is you're going to have a 10 millimeter up on the tree there. Easy stuff. 10 millimeter bolts. Get them right out. Okay. Got that done. Now what you're going to want to do, get your handlebars. Don't get everything all twisted up either. And get it up here. And you're going to get them on. Okay? So what you can do is you can go ahead and set them back a little bit so it's easier for you to get your clamps on. Line everything up as such. Get one clamp. Start a bolt. Now, once you got them on, you can go ahead and use this to tighten them up, but not snug them up. You want to use a ratchet to go ahead and tighten everything down, okay? Because this is aluminum. And you got to be a little careful with that stuff, okay? Once you get your bar situated, you tighten it all the way down. So, okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and bring our bars up where they need to be. That'll work right there. So I want to point out on this too, all the extra stuff they put on these things now. Um, with the brakes, you have actual uh, Amidite brakes with the breakaway levers. So in other words, it goes falling, this pulls back as well as it's adjustable too. Okay, so that's one. And then two on the throttle, you have a ball bearing throttle, which is very responsive. Okay, that's set up right there. I believe it's got a, let's see here. Yeah, so there's your throttle, your throttle right there, ball bearing throttle, real awesome. Gotta love that. Um, electric start as well too. Um, so, and the grips, these grips are very comfortable, very soft and very, they're sticky. So, you know, you can't complain about that whatsoever at all. 
there's really, they've done a lot of things in this 2022 DB20. Um, and they've done others to the other, the, the DB, the other DB series. They've done a lot of stuff to them. So you guys keep your eyes out because we definitely got some of those coming up. I just wanted to take care of this one today because Luch wasn't able to come down. And this is something real quick and easy to put together. And I figure you guys would like it. So we are. You ever have one of those days when your beard is just lifeless and frizzy and you can't do anything with it. And it's like it just lays there. On your face, just looking like, you know, rabid squirrels, you know, running out of your mouth. Today is one of those days. So we are going to test ride this tomorrow. Um, so we'll have some video coming up on that as well, too. We're going to do a test ride with George Voodoo. You know, uh, it seems that you guys can't like those. And we'll see what we can put out. Of course, you know, we're not replacing the Looch. Looch can never be replaced. So let's get on with it. Okay. There we go. Now, let's see here. You drop in the insert for the number plate. Now, what you want to do is, of course, your number plate's got your sticker still on it. And you guys can see the new sticker scheme as well, too. That really is awesome. It stands out. I really love the way this bike looks, okay? So, get your sticker peeled. You know, you got that protective covering for the shipping. You want to get that all peeled off. So, it shows, which is very nice. There you go. Drop it into Bucket's Cousin. Yeah, so there's a lot of new stuff coming out from Tau Motors, a lot of 2022 models, really updated and upgraded. You guys are going to like them, so keep your eyes peeled. We'll be slapping them together. So, Also, too, in the comments, let Luch know you miss him. He's on a little hiatus right now. Comment down below! Yeah. Okay, so... And you drop it on in that little metal insert. And you're pretty much good to go. Once you get that set in. Maybe this, let's go ahead and put this guy in here as well. Yeah, that's going to be good right there. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so once you get that done, you get your outlet head bolts again. Ready to set that up. Line up your hole. And voila. So there we have it. We got it together. We're going to set it down. We're going to put it on the kickstand. We're going to put a little gas in it, see if we can get it started right now. Um, and maybe we'll do a startup on the next one. So I'll get right back to you guys, okay? All right, guys. So what do you think? Anyways, we're going to give this a cold start real quick. And then uh, see, see what's going on. See how it sounds. So let's give it a start, all right? Turn the key on. guys so there you have it this is the Tau motor db20 it's a 107 cc automatic kids dirt bike okay this is not meant for adults this is meant for kids we're going to go ahead and see what it could take but anyways i'd like to thank you guys for watching keep your eyes out for a couple videos from this thing and always don't forget to come back to dorito and lucha cabra peace don't forget to hit the white button don't forget to hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.